Well, that's an important question, not only for our development plan, but but for the field, I think. Um, and um, one of the things that, that I think we were all a bit surprised to find is that we did have some of these people with low, uh, what are called senoloid levels, so low, low plaque levels. Um, now, the way we arrange, set up this phase one study is that on the PET scans, if people had above uh, a certain SUVR, the, the measure of the, the plaque, the other way you can measure plaque, if they had a, above a certain number, uh, 1.2, that nobody actually physically looked at the scan. They were just declared amyloid positive and they could be in the study. If they had an SUVR of less than 1.0, they were considered amyloid negative and um, Nobody looked at the scan, but it was considered negative and they were not included in the study. But if in the, they were in that intermediate range between 1.0 and 1.2, then a human who's an expert in reading these scans looks at the PET scan and determines whether it's positive or negative. Now, what we found is that there were some people uh, included in the trial that had you know, quite low uh, plaque values, but they were read as amyloid positive. And so what that must mean is that the readers were seeing a little bit of amyloid enough to call the, the scan positive, but it wasn't so extensive that it actually made their numbers uh, high. So uh, actually, uh, since our data came out, uh, there was also, this, of course, this recent CTAD meeting and if you look at the various presentations there, uh, especially in the bigger studies, people don't, you know, on average, you probably have uh, 60 centiloids, let's just say, um, depends on the study, um, but you yeah, on average. But if you look at sort of the tail end of the curve, there are people who have visual reads who get into studies who have fairly low centiloid values. So then the question starts to become, do you want those people in your study or not, if they've only got a little bit of amyloid? Um, there were a couple other presentations at, at the CTAD meeting that would suggest that people with less pathology actually have better drug responses. So we're continuing to evaluate those data, and I think the field will broadly because it's, it's important for all of our studies. But at least for the time being, we really don't want to exclude people with those low centiloid values because they seem to respond better to these amyloid-related uh, drugs.